Hi friends, it's a good day for me. I get to play with the new camera. Acaso sent me the newest model of the dash cam I did a review on a couple of months ago. And you and I have both been enjoying the video taken with that as I drive around here on the north shore of Lake Chapala, those videos, uh, including that one where the armed robber came out of the convenience store and the police truck nabbed him right away as he laid on the ground and threw his pistol away. Those videos are all taken with that Acaso dual dash cam, the Trace 1. Well, this is the newest model they've sent me, and it has a couple of new features that I'm uh, very interested in. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. And this one, the newer model, has Wi-Fi and a GPS antenna. Let's see what we got in the box. Well, we have this little tool, which uh, has a dual purpose, and I'll talk about that in a second. We have a user's guide. There's a charging cord that plugs into your cigarette lighter, and this is one of the new features. This little thing on here is a GPS antenna. We have another... Uh, charging cord and you also is the way that you uh, hardwire it into your computer. This suction cup is the same as on the Trace 1 that I reviewed before and so I've been using this suction cup now for a couple of months. <laughs> I really like it. Unlike other suction cups where you pull down on a thing, this one twists like that and sucks the middle of it in. It works really good and uh, it's very, very firmly attached to the windshield. I like that a lot. Uh, you get this little uh, double-sided sticky tape. That's for taping the uh, GPS antenna onto your windshield. You get a handful of these clips that um, help you affix this long cord, the cord's very long to wrap from your cigarette lighter plug all the way around your windshield to wherever you need to mount the camera. Plenty of di uh, uh, length in the, in the cord. And these clips help you secure the cord. You also get, in this um, Trace One Pro, a 32 gigabyte mini SD card micro SD. So that's a savings. And finally, the camera itself. We'll talk about the uh, features of the camera. This is the back of it. This is the part you would see when you were uh, driving. And let me turn it on. Oh, there we go. And the front camera, that's the one that looks out the windshield. The back camera, that's the lens down here, and up here is where those four uh, infrared lights are that help you get uh, night vision inside the car. It has speakers. Uh, down here, there are uh, indications of what all of the different functions are, and there are four buttons on the bottom of it. In the quick reference guide, it explains what these pieces of plastic are here. These are um, GPS anti-electromagnetic things that isolate electronically the GPS antenna from your windshield. I don't exactly understand why they do that, but it's referenced in the guide exactly how to do that. And then there's this little black, I thought it was a bookmark, but it says, get a free gift. How to claim it. Uh, scan the code or go to this website and answer questions for one minute and get a free gift in three to five business days. 
I don't know what the free gift is. It shows a picture of a camera and a kid playing soccer there. And it shows a camera on the other side, too. I, I'm not suggesting you're going to get a free camera, but you're going to get something. Let me tell you what the tool is for. Here on the front of the camera, the brand name, Acaso, there's a little slot right there, and this tool goes right into that slot and pull that out. And that fits into the suction cup so that when it's suction cup to your window, still have the brand name out there. And it goes in there easy peasy just like that. Oh, look at this. It's switched to the clock. When it goes into screensaver mode, it switches to a clock. I have a $300,000 motorhome. doesn't have a clock on the dash. I took an $18 Timex and Velcroed it to the dash. Now I'll have a digital readout right there in front of me all the time. You know, I've done these driving around videos, but I've never actually driven down Main Street in Ahiheek. This is Cologne. It's the central uh, street from the Caratara to the lake. And I don't often come down this way with my van because it can get kind of tight. But this is downtown Ahihik. Right over here, I'll turn the camera a little. That's the main plaza in Ahihik. You can pick up a taxi right here. Take you anywhere you need to go for not much money. A lot of shops along here selling everything you can think of in terms of tourist stuff and stuff made in Mexico. Ooh, did you hear that? <laughs> My rear view mirror on the passenger side hit a pole because I'm looking at the camera instead of the street. I am going to go all the way down here to the end. Usually I would turn left right there. That's uh, Ocampo. I'll go all the way down to the end. One of the reasons that I'm doing the video this way today to show off the Acaso Trace One Pro is because I want to demonstrate to you later when I get back home how the GPS works. All of my speaking that you've heard so far in the van here has been recorded by the Acaso Trace One Pro camera. I'm putting this voiceover in here to apologize for how rattle trappy my van is. Apparently the camera is a lot more aware of it than I am when I'm driving it. This is the Malacone in Ahihik. Years ago, before they built this up higher, there was a teeter-totter out here, and I have a picture of kids teeter-tottering in the rainy season when the water used to come into the park, and each time the kid on the low end went down, it made a splash in the water. We have a park here, uh, exercise equipment, and a uh, playground for kids guy going fishing. I'm going to park here for a second and take the camera off the windshield and take a picture of this skateboard park. So I'm taking these pictures. I'll do a 360. The lake. my van.
Oh, dog content. I wanted to show you what this camera can do when it's not hooked up to the windshield, and I'm real happy with it. Now, I've speeded this up so you don't have to sit through the same route in real time, but do you remember when somebody suggested I should show maps along with my tours? And I struggled, frankly, to find software that did it. This GPS signal is integrated into the video from the Acaso camera. That's the feature I'm so excited about in this new version, the Acaso Trace One Pro. Yeah, what are you looking at? You sound really excited about it. Well, I'm, what is it? I'm editing this camera video. Oh. And here's another thing. Let's say you're driving around and then later you see something that uh, you'd like to take a better look at. That's the pier down at the end of Cologne in Ajijic, Mexico. And because the Acaso GPS player is integrated with Google Maps, switch to full screen, get the little man for street view, put it right there. We can take a look out here on the end of the pier. And you can do a 360. And of course you can look up and you can look down. I'm sold. I'd like to just talk to you a minute about why you ought to have a dash cam in the first place. And if it sounds like I'm trying to sell you a dash can, cam, well, yeah, maybe I am. But I'm not doing it as a get-rich-quick scheme. I really think you ought to have a dash cam. Uh, full disclosure, there's no secret, you know, they send me this camera uh, cameras for free and they want me to tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Uh, and uh, full disclosure, if I uh, uh, put that link for you to get 20% off of the price of the camera and you use my link, I also, because I'm an Amazon uh, affiliate, I get a commission on that and the commission I think is about $4. Well, I'm not doing this for the $4. I'm doing it because I think you ought to have a dash cam. You know, if you're a YouTube creator like me and you do travel videos, it's great to have a high-definition camera pointed out the front of the windshield to show where you're going and what we're seeing. And the fact that it takes pictures inside so you can catch a little, you know, conversation with your wife or whoever's with you, that's great too. And the fact that it's almost 360, it's 340 degrees of picture all the way around your car, it's great to have that as a YouTube creator, plus it's so easy to disconnect it from the mount and take it out to take a picture of some attraction that you jump out of the car and go see. That's great if you're a YouTube creator, but that's not the reason to have a dash cam. A dash cam is designed to be a record of an accident. Several years ago, I started watching videos about uh, traffic accidents, and I s realized that most of them were from Russia and uh, on YouTube, and um, everybody in Russia has a dash cam. Well, it's getting to be more popular in the United States, too. But the reason is because it's an insurance thing. You pay a lot of money for your insurance, and you pay a little bit more for a dash cam, and what do you get? You get a witness if there's an accident. Now, if you're living in your home country, that's a good deal. But if you're living in a foreign country, I live in Mexico. If you have an accident in Mexico, it's a pretty serious thing, especially if there's bodily injury. Well, think about this for a minute. If you have an accident in Mexico and you're not a fluent Spanish speaker, when it comes to explaining what happens to the officer, you're going to lose the argument because the other party is going to explain things in Spanish and you're not going to understand it because he'll talk really fast in Spanish and you won't get it all unless you're fluent in the language where you're living. So, if I'm in an accident here in Mexico, I'm going to have a video record all the way around the car to show what happened and nobody's going to argue with the video record 
no matter what the language is. That's why I'm being so adamant about the fact that if you living in a country that's not your primary language that you're fluent in, or if you're here in Mexico as an expat, or if you're thinking about coming to Mexico, get a dash cam so that you don't have to struggle with the language to explain what happened in an accident. There's another thing about this camera in particular that applies to this, and that is that it, wife, it, it hooks up to your cell phone or your um, uh, tablet or your iPad wirelessly through Wi-Fi. Not your home thing. You don't have to be home. You're not carrying around your laptop, which it can uh, 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 connect to all the time. If you have an accident, what do you got? You always got your phone with you. The, through Wi-Fi, your phone, through an app, will connect to this, and you can download the video to your phone. Now, why is that important? Because then you can show an officer right then and there at the scene of the accident what's, what happened. Instead of it being on this little one, it'll be on a bigger screen, the phone, and if you have an iPad or something, even better. Once you have it in your phone, then you can email it to somebody like your insurance company, or you can uh, give the officer um, a, a copy. Instead of giving the officer your card, which is your permanent record, your micro SD card, if I were in an accident, I would not give the officer my micro SD card. I would give him a copy of the video because I don't want to lose control of my witness. Anyway. That's why I say you ought to have a dash cam. If you're interested in some of the features of the camera that I didn't talk about today, I may have talked about them in the previous review I did of the Acaso Trace 1, and I'll put a card up here for you to find that video if you want to see even more of the features. And also in that video, uh, I did a night driving episode, so you can see how the camera works at night. I'll put a link also at the end of the video so that you can find that one easily if you like. Don't forget that uh, Acaso gives you a 20% discount if you use my um, code that I'll put down below here in the video description. Thanks for watching today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.